When should you uh, pitch your MLM company? Well, or your network marketing company? Well, let's just say that um, what I've learned over the past few years is pitch is actually not the right word, right? Uh, I like to use more the word of sharing. Before you th start thinking about pitching, start thinking about being a problem solver. Start thinking about understanding uh, what your your lead needs, right? So instead of you jumping into um, you know the pitching, right? What I suggest you do is really um, ask questions. You know, what, so if you got the lead, right? You just got the lead. What you want to do is connect with the lead, and then have a series of questions that. You definitely want to ask so you can inquire to see what your prospect needs, right? And what their problems are. So, and you know, don't be afraid of talking about your product if your product solves a problem. Now, if your product does not solve a problem, then uh, pitching your product or service, right, your, or your company, it is not going to do you any good. It's actually going to build resistance Maybe at that time might not be the time to pitch, right? To pitch your company, to pitch your product, to pitch your service. Um, and just also know that it takes about six to seven times before anyone buys from you. So understanding that, um, number one, finding someone's uh, needs, problems, desires, then, you know, don't be afraid of talking about your product or, comp or about your product. Uh, but f just know that you need to solve a problem. Build a connection. Don't be afraid to build a connection, right? Don't be afraid, uh, afraid to build a relationship. Uh, and tell stories as well, you know. You can relate and tell stories that, you know. So, for example, if you know you're talking to a teacher, right, and the teacher, you find out their problems, why? Right? Why are they looking for a home-based business? Why are they looking to make extra money? Uh, whatever it is that, you know, if they're not happy with their company, find out what the problem is. And then what you might want to do is share a story that somebody is in your company, that, that is a teacher as well. And then you can f share a story that's successful. So it's really important to know stories, to know uh, stories, to know people within your company and keep notes. Like, so if you're talking to a mailman, you might want to know, might want to keep track of somebody that's a mailman, for example, a teacher or a nurse or a mechanic or a plumber, whatever it is, or an attorney, right? Someone that's successful, they got into this business and it became successful so you can re so they can relate. So, you know, you automatically can build a rapport. You know, lastly, so just don't don't be eager to pitch your company. Don't be eager to pitch your 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 product. Um, because if you do, you come across come across as very salesy. Uh, and like you basically you come across as an, with an agenda and just uh, you know and your customer your prospect your lead will perceive that so don't don't focus on your quota focus on providing value and focus on providing and solving a problem because once you solve a problem you're one step closer to making a sale to to have somebody join your business uh, so you you know and and keep in mind. You know, anything you do from the first day you contact, contact your lead, it's that if that person jumps aboard, you could create a duplication right from the first day. So it's really important to follow the steps. So I hope you got some value. Uh, if you got some benefit from this, feel free to share, comment, right? And um, if you are looking to get better how to generate leads, go ahead and click the link, link in the description. 